Hi and a very good day. So in this video session, I will continue discussing one of the topic under univariate modeling, which is double exponential smoothing technique. Okay, so this technique is also known as Brown's method. Okay, so uh, for the concept of what is actually double exponential smoothing technique and the difference between this technique and our last example, single exponential. Okay, let's take a look at the last example. Okay, for single exponential smoothing. Right. Okay, what I'm trying to do in our last video, okay, we try to forecast for the year 1998, right? The definition of forecast is actually be, uh, we don't have the actual value yet. Okay, what can we do? We can only forecast. So suppose that we assume that okay for the year 1998 we does not have the actual value okay uh, so what we can do we can only forecast the value at 1998 so this one year ahead forecast we stay uh, we say that it is one step ahead suppose that you want to forecast for 1999 okay 2000 okay 2001 right so this is two year ahead okay this is three year ahead this is four year ahead okay uh, if you use this current situation suppose that we are actually in april you want to focus one month ahead two month ahead uh, two month ahead means that may june three months ahead it means that you want to focus july and so on right so that's what's what we what are the concept of step ahead Okay, so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the okay the model okay so for SES alright the model to focus is actually F T plus M equals to alpha Y T plus one minus alpha F T right suppose that for nineteen ninety eight Okay, one step ahead. So when we replace the equation, okay, alpha y t plus one minus alpha f uh, f t. Okay, if you want to focus two step ahead, okay. Uh, so what happen? Okay, f T plus 2 equals to alpha y t plus 1 minus alpha f t. As we can see here, this uh, both equation produce the same value. So we say that for SEA, SES, okay, the single exponential smoothing model for SES, right, multiple step ahead forecast is actually equals to one step ahead forecast. This is the major issue. So, for our example here, if you want to forecast for 1999, 2000, 2001, the value is actually the same as our one step ahead forecast. Okay. Uh, uh, copy. Right. So, that's the answer. If we want to use single exponential smoothing for a multi step ahead forecast. Okay. So to cater this issue, we have double exponential smoothing, which is okay. Instead of uh, instead of uh, there is no step ahead forecast in the equation, we have this m in the equation to forecast m step ahead by using double exponential. So that's why, okay, that's why uh, the problem of you get the same value for multiple step ahead is uh, it is solved uh, uh, by using double exponential smoothing okay so let's take a look at the basic equation first before i explain about uh, this double exponential smoothing by using sl let's take a look at the equation first okay so here i will introduce you two symbols okay two uh, two things that will cater the exponential smoothing element which is we will use st uh, for to represent a single exponential smoothing value for 
yt at time t while s proscrophy t okay to be the double exponential smoothing value of yt at time t all right to project to forecast m step ahead okay you will need basically four main equation which is st okay the the single smoothing uh, equation the double the at and the bt the at and the bt here is needed when uh, we want to forecast m step ahead here at and bt right 